Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what is the role of a financial advisor. So before we start, we need to understand what is a financial advisor. A financial advisor is a professional that hopefully has adequate knowledge in the financial markets and also human psychology. They can dispense advice to you to help you achieve your financial goals and also to help manage your emotions during good economic times and also bad economic times. But with financial information so readily available online right now, why would you still need a financial advisor? Well, there might be some truths to that. Whether or not you are a novice or a veteran, you might still find that having an advisor can sometimes be helpful because they can give you a second opinion or to help highlight some of the blind spots in your decision-making process. To use an analogy, a financial advisor is like a doctor. Of course, you can sometimes self-diagnose some of the common symptoms, but in certain situations, sometimes it might be better to seek for professional's advice. So why would you need an advisor? If you are financially savvy and you can manage your emotions well, you probably don't need one. But if you're not, then maybe having an advisor will be good because I'm assuming that everyone has a job and we all have limited time, right? You might not want to spend your rest time doing your own research and reading about financial news or even learning how to invest. So having a financial advisor might be useful because you can have access to their knowledge. The second reason why you want to have a financial advisor is because they can help you manage your emotions. Like for example, if you have an investment plan and when the market starts going down a little bit and then you start to have sleepless nights, then a financial advisor can help you manage your emotions and also to remind you about why you made that investment in the first place so that you don't do anything stupid. So now that we've talked about why you might potentially want a financial advisor, let's talk about how a financial advisor can help you. Firstly, a financial advisor can help you set your financial goals and objectives. There's a saying that what gets measured gets managed. So the first role of the financial advisor is to help you map out your financial goals, like for example, retirement planning or buying a house or buying a car, and to help you determine whether or not those goals are financially feasible or not. The second role of a financial advisor is risk management and insurance planning. Because insurance is not something that we think about on a day-to-day -day basis so it can be very easily overlooked. However, it is very important to have sufficient coverage. So a financial advisor can help you identify the gaps between your insurance needs by helping you do a scenario analysis and then helping you calculate the appropriate amount of coverage to have based on your needs and your budget. The third role of a financial advisor is to help you assess your risk tolerance and also to advise on your asset allocation. Because inflation decreases the value of money over time, it is very important to have some investments to help us outpace inflation. So a financial advisor can help you build your investment portfolio by assessing your risk tolerance level and also by assessing your current situation. Because not all financial instruments are created equal, some might carry a higher level of risk that might not be suitable for you. So it is very important for your financial advisor to explain to you what are the risks and potential returns of the investment portfolio. It is worth noting that difference in age, earning power, personality, life stages, family background, etc. has to be considered when creating your investment portfolio. So it is important for the financial advisor to keep that in mind before recommending the investment allocation. The fourth role of a financial advisor is to help you lower costs and also potentially increase your returns. This can be done by recommending the correct product, giving you advice on how to lower your tax and also by managing your emotions so that you don't do anything foolish. And the fifth role of the financial advisor is one of the most overlooked aspects of financial planning which I have mentioned a few times previously, which is to manage your emotions. Because people tend to be the most irrational when they are emotional, which can lead them to make stupid decisions like buying high and selling low and lead to permanent capital loss. So a financial advisor can help you check your emotions when you are feeling scared or uncertain about your investment portfolio. An advisor can also give you a second opinion to help you cross-check your own biases. Because we tend to look for ideas that support our own belief, a phenomenon known as confirmation bias, which often causes tunnel vision and can increase the chances of making mistakes. So although it's not foolproof that having an advisor can guarantee that your investment doesn't lose money, but having a second opinion does help because it adds another layer of thought before you commit to making any purchase. And the last role of a financial advisor is that it can help you save time from doing your own research because like I mentioned, we all have limited time and we all have our jobs to do. So engaging a financial advisor can help you save some time because they have already spent the time researching and studying the market. So why not just ask them, right? So that you can focus on doing your own things. So now that we've talked about the six roles of a financial advisor, I'm gonna give you a bonus, which is what to look out for in an advisor. I have already made a separate video talking about it. 
But the gist of it is that you want to look out for an advisor that is first honest and then competent. Because if without honesty, if he's competent, it's not going to be good for you. Lah. So we are almost coming to the end of our video. Let's just do a quick recap. Number one, what is a financial advisor? Financial advisor is someone who has knowledge in the financial markets and also human psychology and is there to dispense financial advice to help you achieve your financial goals. Secondly, why do you need a financial advisor? Mainly it's because you do not have the knowledge and expertise and also you need someone to manage your emotions. And lastly, the six roles of a financial advisor is that firstly, to help you set your goals and objectives. Secondly, to help you with risk management and also insurance planning. Thirdly, to help you assess your risk tolerance and also your investment allocation. Fourth, is to help you lower costs. Five, is to help you manage your emotions. And six, is to help you save time. Alright, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you've learned something new today. Do give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you like the content. And if you have any questions, do write them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.